Welcome back Mechanical AI. The Clausius and Kelvin Planck statements are the two statements of the second law of thermodynamics. This makes us wonder, how is the equivalence of Clausius and Kelvin Planck statements achieved? We will take care of it in this second part of the series. Now, in the first part of the series, we discussed about a few prerequisites of the equivalence, namely a thermal energy reservoir, a heat engine, a refrigerator, and a heat pump. The next two prerequisites are a kind of fictitious machines called as a perpetual motion machines, one and two, that violate the first and the second law of thermodynamics respectively. A PMM1 is a machine which would continuously supply mechanical work without consuming some form of energy. And a PMM2 is a heat engine that will produce network in a complete cycle by exchanging heat with only one reservoir. Having established these facts, let's move towards the equivalence of Kelvin Planck and Clausius statements, which can be done in two ways. First, consider a heat pump which violates the Clausius statement. That is, it simply transfers heat from one reservoir to the another without any work expenditure. Assume a cyclic heat engine operating between the energy reservoirs such that it draws the same amount of heat Q1 equal to that discharged by the pump. If we eliminate the hot reservoir and directly pump the heat into the heat engine, then we get a combined heat engine operating in cycles and producing network while exchanging heat only with one body at a single fixed temperature, thus violating the Kelvin Planck statement. Second, consider a PMM2 which violates the Kelvin Planck statement. That is, assume a cyclic heat pump extracting heat Q2 from a low temperature reservoir and discharging heat to the high temperature reservoir with the expenditure of work equal to what PMM2 delivers in a cycle. Now, both these together constitute a heat pump whose sole effect of transferring heat from lower to higher temperature body violates the Clausius statement, thus providing an equivalence. Hence, using a few prerequisites, we established a firm way of how the two statements of second law, which seem unique in their own ways, are equivalent to each other. So like, subscribe and comment with your feedback to help us make better videos. Thanks for watching. Also, thanks a lot for those constructive comments. You helped the channel grow. So here are the top mechanical EIs of our last videos. In the next episode of Mechanical AI, find out what entropy is.